So when there's an ovarian cyst present, let's talk about how we classify those cysts, how we think about them based on what the cyst looks like and the size of the cyst. The first important thing is, is the patient premenopausal or postmenopausal because things become very different. So for the case of this discussion, we're talking about the premenopausal woman. This is somebody that hasn't gone through menopause yet and what we see on ultrasound and what the cyst is like. So a cyst that's up to even two centimeters is really completely normal and is supposed to be there. Once you get past two centimeters, then the cysts can be abnormal. Now the cysts themselves can look differently. You can have what's called a simple cyst, which is basically a single sort of filled balloon type thing where it's just like a single balloon with liquid in it. And that would be a simple cyst. Now those cysts can have things called septations, which would be a wall through the cyst, excrescences where the things are growing inside of those cysts. Those types of things are all um, signs that there may be more of a problem than, than just a normal ovarian function. So when we start seeing septations or growths within the cyst, we get a little bit more nervous that there's something abnormal there. Also, there can be things called calcifications within the cyst. And if you see a cyst with calcification, that's almost always something called a dermoid cyst. So that's what we call pathognomonic for a dermoid cyst. In other words, that pretty much defines the problem. So it's possible to do an ultrasound, see calcifications in the cyst, and we know pretty much for sure that that's a dermoid cyst. So that's one type of cyst that we can see very well. Now for simple cysts, where it's just a single fluid filled sac that are less than five centimeters, those are basically considered benign and normal, and those almost always go away on their own. So for instance, you have a three and a half, four centimeter cyst that's simple, there's no excrescences, there's no septations, those pretty much safely be ignored. Now a simple cyst over five centimeters, that can become a problem because now the cyst is big enough and it, that it's heavy enough that it can force the ovary to turn on itself. And if the ovary completely twists, that's called an ovarian torsion, and that can cut off blood supply to the ovary. That can be very dangerous. So cysts over five centimeters are something we have to keep an eye on because although that's rare, there's a possibility that they can misbehave. Also, once a cyst gets over five centimeters, there's a little bit less chance that that's gonna go away on its own. Now a cyst, a simple cyst that gets bigger than 10 centimeters, that's completely abnormal. That is not gonna go away on its own. And so any cyst over 10 centimeters needs treatment um, and needs really surgical management. So for simple cysts, that's the way we think about it. Under five centimeters, gonna go away on its own, nothing to worry about. Five to 10 centimeters might end up being a problem, may need treatment, maybe we can follow it. Over 10 centimeters definitely needs to be treated. So that's for a simple cyst. Now, if you have a cyst that has septations or excrescences in it, that probably needs to be treated unless you're pretty sure that it's really something called a hemorrhagic cyst. So let me explain what a hemorrhagic cyst is. You know, when ovulation happens, the cyst gets to about one to two centimeters, it ruptures and spits the egg out, and then it seals back over. Now, occasionally when that cyst ruptures, it'll break a little blood vessel. And when it seals back over, that blood vessel will bleed into the cyst. The cyst will expand until there's enough pressure to stop the bleeding. And now you have a cyst that's filled with blood. Now that looks a little bit different than a simple cyst, but usually on ultrasound, it's pretty obvious that that's most likely what's happening. And so when we see what we call a hemorrhagic cyst, usually we'll like to follow that with a follow-up ultrasound down the line just to make sure that that goes away. So a hemorrhagic cyst is another type of ovarian cyst that you can usually see on ultrasound. So that's an idea of how we classify cysts. Is it simple or is it complex? Does it have growths inside or septations? Is it clearly one of the types of cysts that we know exactly what it is, for instance, a dermoid or a hemorrhagic cyst? Um, and how big is it? Is it greater than five centimeters? Is it greater than 10 centimeters? And those are the things we look at when we offer treatment or tell you that you don't really need any treatment.